So you really see stuff like this everywhere on YouTube. These side hustle videos on how to make $500 a day using modern wealth creation methods or other passive income ideas that will supposedly make you $10,000 a month as a beginner. But I never found those types of side hustles very realistic because some of them are very time consuming making them, well, not really a side hustle anymore. So today I'm going to talk about a couple of realistic side hustles for software developers that will allow you to make an extra $500 to $1,000 a month without having to start a second full-time job. So first up, we have online teaching and tutoring, which has gained a lot of popularity over the last couple of years, especially post-COVID. There definitely is a high demand for skilled online teachers and therefore also the potential to earn a nice little extra income. But we have to be a little careful on this one, because I'm sure you know that everybody and their mother is some kind of online coach nowadays, right? You'll find some 17-year-old life coaches out there that will tell you about the latest crypto shitcoin that will definitely make you a millionaire. Just ignore them. I've noticed that there's a shortage of coding teachers that can guide you through your learning process and even help you find a job. There are so many people out there that would pay good money to speak with someone with experience in the field which can help them to get started and focus on the right things. And it's not just about the coding, it's also about job interview strategies and how to create a good letter of application. And the best part about that is that you can literally do it whatever you want and wherever you want. So you're not limited to your local time or location, which means that you can mentor students from all over the world without any problems. And because of this global reach, your pool of potential students is almost endless. There are many platforms out there that offer you a safe escrow payment service to make sure that you will always get paid for the lessons you gave. You might be watching this right now thinking that you could never do this because you don't have 10 years of working experience. But let me tell you, that's absolutely fine. Because as a beginner, you might be the perfect person to teach another beginner. Because you've been where the other person is right now, which makes it very easy for you to tell him what exactly you did to get where you are right now. So if you're a beginner, don't worry about the imposter syndrome, because there are definitely people out there that can also benefit from your knowledge. But that's not the only way of teaching online. If you have a big expertise in a niche front-end framework, for example, you can make a video course about it and put it on a platform like Udemy or similar. I've bought many online courses to a bunch of different topics on Udemy, but also directly from the creator. Selling your online course directly to the consumer might be a little harder to do, but if it gets popular, you can make a very nice passive income through it. A nice example for a course I'm doing at the moment is the 3JS course from Bruno Simons. He made a fantastic course about 3JS and how to get started with it, and it seems like that he has made millions with it so far. I'm not saying that making an online course will for sure make you a millionaire, but apparently it sure is possible. The second side hustle is web design or web development. That's the first side hustle I started and I've been doing it since 2017. Creating a simple website with today's tools is really one of the easiest tasks for a developer. You don't even have to write a single line of code anymore to create a beautiful and responsive website. Content management systems like WordPress, for example, allow you to create beautiful theme or template based websites with simple drag and drop editors. You can easily create a basic website in one or two days of work. Online shops pretty much work in the same way but they're usually a lot more work than a simple website. Using WordPress or some other content management system is pretty intuitive and can be learned in less than a month. And also there are a million different tutorial videos about everything on YouTube. Okay, so you might know how to make a website, but how do you get customers? And that's the big question that I asked myself when I first got started. And keep in mind that I was only 15 years old. My biggest struggle in that age was to convince people that I can actually make a website because they didn't believe me. So the first thing I did was to check out websites of friends and family and offering them my services for really cheap. I was incredibly lucky because literally the first guy I called really liked the idea and told me to come over to discuss further details. And this doctor turned out to be the first real customer I made a website for. Of course, I also got rejected a lot while trying this, but sooner or later, you'll find someone that's interested. And if you do a good job and satisfy your customer, they would probably refer you to their friends and colleagues, which would also want to buy a website from you. How much money you can make with a side hustle obviously depends on how many websites you can make, but at the time where I was actively looking for new clients, I was always making about 1,000 to 2,000 bucks a month, which was a very nice extra income. The next side hustle is the last one I've started, this YouTube channel here. Creating content nowadays can bring you a nice little extra income after a while. I don't think that it really matters on what platform you begin, but it's probably easier to start on TikTok, Instagram Reels, or YouTube Shorts before starting a full YouTube channel like I did. And Twitter or X is also a very good platform to get started nowadays. On the short form content platforms, you kinda already know what to do in order to get some followers. Just do what's already working for others and add some value or some specific insights to it. And apart from that, even if your account is brand new, you can get some good views. While starting a full YouTube channel will probably take you a lot longer to get some good views. And it's also a lot more work than creating short form content. My videos usually take 
15 to 25 hours to make starting from writing the script over to filming it and editing it in the end. But I personally really enjoy creating these longer videos and for me personally it's more like a hobby than a side hustle. But how can you make money from content creation? So there are a couple of different ways to monetize your content effectively. The first one that probably everybody of you knows is the ad revenue. If you reach a larger audience your videos will contain ads before or while your video is playing. And you as the creator of the video will receive a portion of the ad revenue generated by the ads that were played on your video. How much you will get is calculated with something called CPM, which stands for cost per mil, which is the French or Latin word for thousand. So the CPM is basically the amount you'll get paid per thousand views on your content. The second way of making money with your content is sponsorships. If you have a larger audience in one specific niche like software development, for example, companies will often reach out to you and ask you to promote their product. So they're effectively paying you for promoting or showcasing their brand's products or services. Another way is affiliate marketing. I'm sure you've seen Amazon links in video descriptions before, right? These are affiliate links. And if you buy something after clicking on this link, the creator will get a small commission for the referral. There still are a bunch of other methods to make money with your content, but I think these are the most popular ones. But having a social media following in general is a very useful thing that can help you in a bunch of different ways in your future developer career, even if it's only a couple of hundred or a thousand followers. Freelancing is a side hustle that some of my friends do, but I haven't really tried it out much. You're basically offering your software development services to other people or firms. A lot of people already do that on platforms like Fiverr or Upwork, for example. You just create a seller account on these platforms that enter your skills and technologies you know, and you just wait for people to reach out to you. And of course, you can make your own prices and negotiate with potential customers. I'm not really a big fan of it because after I'm done with my full-time job as a programmer, I'd rather spend my free time with something different than even more programming. The last side hustle is by far the hardest one, but if you manage to get successful with it, you might be able to live from the income you generate from it. Of course, I'm talking about software as a service or SaaS. For you that don't know what SaaS is, it's basically just an app that provides a service of some kind. Notion is a very good example of a SaaS product. They provide a notes app that's better than a bunch of the competition. Most of it is free to use, but to use some premium features like AI integration, for example, you would need to subscribe to their paid plans. So it's basically just a piece of software in any niche that makes your life a little bit more convenient. But creating your own SaaS application does not only require a lot of your time because you usually have to develop something entirely new, the hardest part is probably to come up with a good idea. You'll already find millions of different SaaS products out there to almost anything you can think of. So the only way to really achieve something with your own SaaS app nowadays is to focus on a problem in a very small niche. A problem that is so small that it's actually too small to be tackled by larger companies. But if you actually manage to build a SaaS product that gets a bunch of users, you can have a very nice side income. And the best part about that is that it's almost passive income. And maybe one day you'll get an offer from a company that wants to buy your product for a million or two. So it sure is the hardest and the most time consuming side hustle. But if you manage to do it right, you might be able to retire from it. These were my top five developer side hustles. If you have anything to add, please let me know down in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.